हेलो जया घोष हेलो सर गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग वेलकम वेलकम टू इंग्लिश यारी एंड आई एम योर कोच नंद गोपाल एंड हाउ आर यू आई एम वेल सर हाउ अबाउट यू आई एम गुड आई एम गुड थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग एंड वेयर आर यू कनेक्टिंग फ्रॉम जया घोष आई हेल फ्रॉम कोलकाता एंड आई एम अ बैंकर हम Yes, I nice. work in a rural bank um, mm-hmm. in Kolkata. Okay. And uh, if I talk about my hobbies, then mm-hmm. uh, I like watching movies. I love reading fiction, uh-huh. and also I love watching, uh, love listening to music. Wow! What kind of music you listen to? I mainly listen to Hindi songs. Okay. in the old songs or new songs or gazal. I love nineties songs. I love okay. them. Uh, who's your favorite who's your favorite singer uh, lata mangeshkar wow good good and uh, you said you read fictions novels and uh, who's your favorite uh, author um actually uh, recently i started uh, developing uh, the habit of reading so mm-hmm. i haven't read much books yet uh for now uh, i like reading uh, the books written by sudha murthy very good very good ma'am so, and uh, also uh, i read one book uh, called uh, christmas carol uh, by mm-hmm. charles dickens i loved the book uh, then i uh, bought one book uh, by oscar wilde i mm-hmm. was really liking it So I like these authors. Okay. Nice. So if you are into uh, improving your English fluency, communicative English, try to read novels. Novels are very important uh, tool to improve your fluency and improve your vocabulary. Uh, you can try Chetan Bhagat. Chetan Bhagat, yes. I yes. read quite a few books. Yeah, yeah. written by him. You like him? his yes. writing his books nice so re- recently i was going through reading one book uh, uh, an arranged uh, murder right. murder oh, arranged murder so okay. that's a wonderful wonderful book you should read that why we need to like you know you can read like uh, non fictions and uh, articles or uh, essays but that won't help you much in improving your conversational english because in uh, in the novels you come across lot of conversations between uh, the characters the protagonists so you get to know uh, how to ask a question how to answer for that so once you complete a book you must have been conversing with yourself you know you you are reading and you are mind in the mind you are talking yes. you can feel that once you complete a novel your english would have been really improved you must yes, have true. noticed that yes. and you'll but i find like... it really uh, hard because uh, whenever i try reading books mm-hmm. there are lots of words uh, that are unknown to me mm-hmm. and it's not possible to look up uh, those words uh, every time every time go in the google every time because yeah then my interest uh, in reading uh, uh, becomes less there are two things jaya like you know one is like not to complete the novel to read that novel to enjoy that novel okay you need not know all the words you need not google and find out the meaning like you know you can guess the meaning from the context and just move on or go ahead with reading and complete the book in 10 days or 15 days or like less than that that is number one the way of reading you enjoy the reading like watching a movie you won't understand most of the dialogues but you enjoy that english movie yes. but while watching a movie or reading a book if your ultimate goal is to improve your english there are people who read only one book in a year one book in one year how they read like every word they go back to google find out the meaning and then underline that word on the sides they write the meaning of that word and then they continue reading like that it might take like one month to complete a book all yes. these new words they underline 
Then what they do? They read the book second time. Then they get all those new words which they had underlined and uh, wrote down their meanings. Then third time, same book. Fourth time, same book. In one year, they read one. You won't believe. I can see it from your face. You, it's hard to believe a person yeah. reading one book again and again. But he says once he completes, he will add like 3,000 to 4,000 words to his vocabulary. Yes, true. No, it's only uh, uh, like a one time. Like now, once you are okay with that book, once you are happy with all the words, you know all the words, then go to the other book, next book. So this is very important method to improve your English. Second is watch English movies. Watch, do you watch English movies? Yes, sometimes. Yeah. So I like watching animated movies. Oh. Very good, very good. It's easy to understand. Easy yes. to understand cartoons. Easy to understand because that is the basic level. They are mainly intended for children. They are yes. intended for children, for watching for children like for seven years, eight years, ten years old. So the basic English. You won't find it difficult to understand or grasp the meaning. And why this is important is how did you learn your mother tongue? By listening. By listening the conversations between your parents, your siblings, your relatives, your neighbors. So listening conversations, like listening to BBC News, BB or CNN News is different. But listening to daily conversations is very important. Yes. That you can get only from movies or any videos. So you can watch English movies. Same way a person... He watches a movie in one movie one month. <laughs> <laughs> like 10-15 minutes he will watch with subtitles. If he doesn't know the meaning, he will just Google, write it down and then go back 15 minutes, rewind, then watch it again without subtitles. Watch it again with subtitles. If you are in doubt, watch it with subtitles. So once he is thorough with that 15 minutes, then he moves forward next 15 minutes. This is a way of improving our English. Where there is a will, there is a way. Or I also can... keep rewinding it every now and then whenever mm -hmm. I uh, cannot understand the context or the words mm -hmm. or the sentences used. But then a one hour movie becomes two or three hours movie for me. Yeah. <laughs> so your goal is to improve your English. Yes. And second thing is when you're watching when you are watching it for the second time, you understand the dialogues. Then you, what you do is like you imitate those dialogues. You say that along with the characters. You have completely sabotaged my project. Suppose this is a dialogue. This is that you have completely sabotaged your my project. So you also can like imitate shadow that you have sabotaged my project. Slowly you can say, if someone is sitting, you can say, you have sabotaged my project. So you yes. get the emotion. I'm confused. I don't know what you do. I'm totally perplexed. I'm totally perplexed. I'm confused. So the tone, because when you are angry, some tone. When you are confused, it's a different tone. If you listen to English conversation, it's like a song. It goes up and down. You, know, you say, uh, I'm, you see, uh, you have completely sabotaged my project. This is like, no, there is no emotion. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I'm perplexed. There is no emotion. Like when you are angry. So I give you a dialogue. Try to use that. See, I've been telling you again and again, you are not listening to me. You are angry. With your subordinate, you are a banker. Please repeat. I'm telling you this again and again, but you are not listening to me. Now you do whatever you want. I don't care. It's a long dialogue. So you can break it. I've been, I've been, I've been. You see, I have been becomes, I've been telling you this again and again. Repeat. Repeat. I've been telling you this again and again. But, but you, you are, are not, not listening, listening to me. Just do whatever you want to do. I don't care. I don't care. But don't smile. 
I'm angry. Yeah, you are angry. Hey, I've been telling you this again and again. You are not listening to me. I don't care. No, you are so happy to to <laughs> to bang someone. No, you should be angry. That anger should be there in your voice, in your face, in your eyes. So when you are emotionally connected to that dialogue, you will get the required vocabulary. Right? Yes. One more, last time. I've been telling you this again and again. I've been telling you this again and again, and you're mm -hmm. not listening to me. Just mm -hmm. do whatever you want to do. Don't ask me. I don't care. I don't care. Some more small sentences we can practice. I'm tired. Practice. Say, repeat after me. I'm tired. I'm tired. Are you angry? Are you angry? I'm giving a party tomorrow. Would you like to join? I'm giving a party tomorrow. Would you like to join? I'm going for a walk. Would you like to join? I'm going for a walk. Would you like to join? Can I have some glass of water? Can I have a glass of water? Can I have a glass of water? Yeah. You see, the tone is changing. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So these are the, this is why I told you when you're watching a movie, you get some dialogues to repeat that. In between, you keep repeating. Let the movie play along, but you repeat that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Some you know, some dialogue, you know, American English and all, you know. Never mind. I don't have any problems. So you will say that. Never mind. I don't have problem. I don't have some problem. Always when you are talking, you have to connect the speech. Connect the words. Otherwise, you will be saying, uh, never mind. I don't have any problem. Never mind. I don't have any problems. I don't, I don't have any problem. These way of speaking, you can get only if you watch English movies. If you yes. watch BBC, CNN channel, of course your English will improve to an advanced level and you will get a lot of new vocabulary and the right structure. So try to listen to as much as possible. Because yes. listening, have you heard about LSRW? LSRW. Listening, speaking, speaking mm. writing, reading. R is reading, W is writing. So, which is which aspect is like uh, your favorite? Reading, listening. listening, listening. You like then reading, then yeah. writing, and then speaking. Try to try to develop all these skills, little, little, little. Like uh, listen, like a daily half an hour when you are driving. How do you commute to your office, to your bank? How do you? Uh, by bus. By bus. Okay. So what do you do? You sleep or you listen some podcast? Some. No, actually, it takes me ten minutes to reach my office from my place. Okay, so up to the bus stand or bus stop, you walk, right? So that yes. time you can start listening like a, a, a podcast and then 10 minutes. Then again, you will be walking another five minutes. When you are crossing the road and all, you have to be very careful. Otherwise, try to listen. Like when you get some time, try to watch, try to read. Get immersed in English. You are speaking well, Jaya. It's not, uh, I don't think you have much of problem in speaking English. No, sir. I have lots of problems. Uh... Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I especially uh, now that I am not reading any books, I have stopped reading for some time now. So I'm I can feel that uh, I'm not able to speak. I am mm -hmm. finding the right words. I'm not able to find it so, sometimes. And uh, uh, one problem that I have is uh, many tutors have told me that mm -hmm. uh, whenever you speak about something. Uh, you should have the, the uh, you should maintain the format like introduction, body, and then conclusion. Mm -hmm. So I'm but, working on it, but I'm not but, able to. But when you meet, like every day you enter your uh, bank and you meet your colleague, what will you say? You will have a, an introduction, a body, or uh, anything? Oh, you have to normal no, hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Start. How are you? Good morning. How's your day? Simple. Yes. That's called a small talk. So are you yes. okay with a small talk? 
I uh, I don't speak with them in English. Aha, uh -huh. but try like at least at least you just greet them in English. Hello, Asha. Good morning, Asha. How are you? Your yes. colleague or your uh, how are you, Chandan? Good morning. How was your weekend? How's your family? No, always try to do ask something new. Don't ask every day. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? What else you can ask to your colleagues? What, what did else? you do yesterday? How was your How was how's your day? Weekend? How was your weekend? How's your family? How's your dad? I heard that he is ill. He is not keeping well. Yes. You can ask a lot of things. This is called small talk. You should try to develop the habit of small talking. Yes. Next is next level is talking one on one on a topic for like one minute or two minutes. What is this, Jaya? This is a pen. It is a pen. Can, yes. can you talk about one minute about this? Uh it is a blue pen. <laughs> keep talking. Keep talking. Use pen. Don't don't worry writing. about mistakes. Whatever comes to your mind, keep talking that. Don't worry about grammar. Like I want you to speak continuously. Okay, so I can see a pen in your hand. It's a mm -hmm. blue pen, and mm -hmm. uh, we use pen uh, to write things. We use mm -hmm. pen for writing. Mm -hmm. um, I used to write with pen uh, since my childhood. Uh, I love uh, writing with uh, pen. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't like writing with uh, pencil. When did you start writing with a pen? What uh, age? Maybe two or three. Oh. You, you started Not writing with a pen old. when you were th three years old? Or were you using pencils? Yeah, uh, First, I used uh, pencil. pencil. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, I started What's the writing What's with a, pen. What are the differences between using a pencil and a pen? So, you can remove your writing whenever you erase. make mistakes. You can erase your mistakes. Yes. Erase your mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever you make mis yes, mm -hmm. mistakes, okay. you can mm -hmm. erase it. Mm -hmm. With pen, it's not possible. You have not. to um, strike it and then write it again. Or you can use a correction fluid or a whitener. Mark, white marker. <laughs> white marker. So what is the major disadvantage of using a pencil? Huh? Sorry? Disadvantage of using a pencil. You were when you were writing, like you know, when you were in the second standard, second grade, third grade, if you are using a pencil rather than a pen, what's the difference between uh, a pen and a pencil? So, uh, that we can't erase our mistake. Mm -hmm. this is one. Uh, a disadvantage. Disadvantage of pencil. Oh, pencil. Mm -hmm. Pencil disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Every like one hour, you have to sharpen that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to carry yes. a sharpener. Yeah, this was a disadvantage. Like exam yes. time, exam time. Like if you are writing with a pencil, if you are keep on writing, 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 then you have to sharpen this. Similarly, earlier time we used to have like fountain pen or hero pen. You have to carry an ink bottle. You have to fill up. Nowadays you have these ball pens and yes. all. You know, there is no issues. So how is your handwriting, Jaya? Uh, my handwriting was uh, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my teachers used to tell me that uh, your handwriting looks good, but it's mm -hmm. difficult to understand. Uh -huh. Why? No, understand or difficult to uh, make out. What should be the right? She can't read it. It's yes. beautiful, but she can't read and understand what you have. Like you are writing it in the cursive letters or how do you write it? You are good yes. at cursive, cursive writing. Yes. Mm. Nice. So they are not able to uh, read it. Yes. Are you very fashion conscious? Not really. You go with like whenever you go for shopping, you go for the branded items? Sometimes, uh, but mm. not all the time. You go for normal deshi items like, no? Suppose yes. you want to buy a salwar. So if we I like for, something, then uh, you don't I care for the price tag. Don't care for the mm -hmm. price tag. 
no no means it depends actually sometimes i do uh, mm. uh, i do check the price and then decide whether i uh, want to buy it or not mm-hmm. uh, but if i like it so much and its uh, quality is also good and you buy it. Uh, go for it then uh, then i will it. definitely buy it okay so we have discussed uh, like two methods read a novel watch a movie and try to read like at least one page aloud 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 other times the novel suppose suppose you are reading 50 pages read it in the normal way you know read to yourself in a low voice you know whatever way you read but make it a point that one page you read aloud you might have heard like no when in the in your childhood your mama will say oh read aloud read aloud read aloud so yes. this is a good method to improve your reading skills and your cognitive skill and your english try to read and in a stylish nice way yes so try to like how do you like if you come across a new word what do you do jaya yeah. first i uh, i search the meaning mm-hmm. uh, and try to remember it Mm-hmm. but i don't uh, i can't i am not see. able to use it you in see. sentences i don't know <laughs> why yeah like a trivial what is the meaning of trivial trivial not very important not very important so you know that how often you use this word no never you know this word this is a nice word you can you have a lot of uh, situations where you can use but you will say not important Oh, that's a the unimportant issue. Rather, you could have used that's a trivial issue. Don't fight on such trivial issues. You are a bank manager. If somebody is coming to you for silly issues, you can say, "Don't come with such trivial issues. I have a lot of other work to do. My plate is full." What do you mean by that? My plate is full. I have a lot of work to do. ये ये नहीं कि खाना बहुत रखा है खाना plate में I have lot of work to do, man. Don't come and disturb me with such trivial matters. You know I am swamped. I am swamped. Swam. Means busy. Again, busy. your plate is full. My hands are tied. Means I'm busy with work. I'm busy with work. I can't do anything else. no these all you are, you answered all these words or rather idioms but how often do you use this this is important yes so deliberately try to use this you have to so you can you can have a list of words like at least when you are with uh, english yari have that list of words what you want to use like you know there is a topic given to you if you want to talk on the topic just related vocabulary have a list of vocabulary and just have a glance on that use that or you tell me sir i am going to use these words don't remember that word just once no unless you use it continuously for 3 days that won't stay that won't stay in your memory but just imagine you can use all these words at ease what will be the level of your english wow fantastic because yes, you know you know all these words you know all these words this is what i'm sad you know all these words but you don't get a situation an opportunity to speak or use these words that case what you do is self talk self talk like pen whatever trivial the matter is we can use this pen to write our thoughts yes whether it's a serious issue or it's a trivial issue doctors write prescriptions with this pen a judge write a, a final verdict with this pen a judge can prosecute a person he can execute a person with this pen right yes. on valentines day you can write a love letter with this pen so you, what when you are writing you can think write 
try to write something so you can think oh what was the word i should use but when you are speaking you can't you don't have time to think and okay wait 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 i have a good word for that i will i will use that word after 2 minutes no but when you are writing so try to write a passage method number 4 try to write a passage one passage and whatever new words you got try to use that today i spoke much i am i am i regret that but i was giving you a lot of method that's why otherwise next sessions onwards you will take the thunder means you will take the thunder means you will steal the show means you will speak i will now. speak and you will listen you see i did not say that but you said it yeah. steal the thunder steal the show because you will be the main actor you will be the most important person he is told the show means he was focused everybody was focusing on that person so in our upcoming sessions you will steal the thunder and you will be focused and i let you go jaya kosh and uh, have a good evening and good night